I'm Lydia Patel and welcome to Caribbean News on the national and international scene. Barbados has a new opposition leader. Former Barbados Prime Minister Owen Arthur has returned to lead the main opposition Barbados Labour Party. Arthur was chosen by the BLP executives to replace Mia Motley in the top spot on Monday. The move comes after reports of internal wrangling in the party. The change came less than a week after plans to topple Motley. Some political pundits say the change is being made in anticipation of the snap elections in the country as Prime Minister David Thompson battles pancreatic cancer. They also say Arthur and Motley have more than a political following despite the fact he was just ousted two years ago. The Jamaica government handling of Mr. Koch's extradition case will be investigated. A commission of inquiry has been selected in Jamaica to investigate the government's handling of a U.S. extradition request for the alleged drug lord Christopher Duddis Koch. Attorney Emil George was this week handpicked by the country's Prime Minister, Bruce Golding, to head the three-member commission. Golding told Parliament that the panel has been charged to deliver a report and any recommendations to the Caribbean Islands Governor General by February 28, 2011. On the entertainment scene, Jamaican-born reggae star Gyptian is up for a Soul Train Award. Gyptian, whose Hold You has been taking the world by storm, is up for the Best Reggae Artist at the Awards. The Soul Train Awards is set for Wednesday, November 10th at the Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center in Atlanta, Georgia. The reggae singer will also be performing live at the ceremony. In sports, the West Indies cricket team has a new captain. Jamaican Chris Gale was unceremoniously dumped as skipper of the West Indies cricket squad. Instead, all-rounder Darren Sammy has surprisingly replaced Gale as the skipper for the team's upcoming tour of Sri Lanka. Sammy takes over from Gale, 31, who has occupied the position of captain since 2007. The selection has come as a shocker to many, with Sammy only having made eight test appearances. And that was your Carib World News in Brief, but remember for Caribbean News 24-7, log on to CaribWorldNews.com. I'm Lydia Patel, I'll see you next time.